if you are in hurry then i have kept the list of this top 10 in the description you can look at there and simply skip the video so now let's start the video so in this top 10 the summer fruit plants i have categorized the plant into two group the first one is the small or medium size fruit which can be easily grown in a pot or in a, even in a small spaces so in this the first one is the papaya and the second one is the lemon and also the pomelo and the third one is the corona and the fourth one is fig or anjir and the fifth one is the star fruit or carambola and the sixth one is the bear or indian jujube and the seventh one is the water apple and the eighth one is the melon in melon it may be watermelon or musk melon or whatever it may be so these are the list of this small or medium sized tree and when coming to the second group that is the large size trees so in this i will always prefer to plant these large size trees in a open field so that it have uh, well spaced so it will grow easily so in this the first one is the mango second one is the jamun third one is the breadfruit and uh, jackfruit and the fourth one is the bell so these are the list of these two category so in quick review now let's look one by one so the first plant is the mango so mango are found in abundance only in the summer season even though mangoes are available in different season in different part of the world but the best seasoning is the summer although the mango are tropical fruits means it's grow in a hot weather climatic condition so only summer is possible for this so in general the grafted mango will take three to four years of time in order to start fruit and the second fruit plant is the jamun so jamun generally will take more time than the mango in order to start fruiting so it will take four to six years of time in order to start fruiting and the best thing about the jamun is low maintenance even it will grow in a barren land and it doesn't require much care and the other thing is that it is environmental friendly it allows like when you are growing jamun it means you are indirectly allowing birds and other local uh, pollinators to come to your house so it is one of the best character of the jamun fruit and the third fruit plant is the water apple or rose apple actually this is not related to the apple only the outer skin of the fruit is uh, look like as that apple and inside it is full of water and the fruits come in the bunches in early summer not in late summer it comes in early summer and another important fruit plant is the bear or indian jujube actually the interesting part of this fruit is in south india it flowers and give fruits in the summer season and north india it will give in the winter season so it's really very interesting to grow this uh, indian jujube so in north and south india they will do import and export so that the bear is available almost in every season except in fall and the spring and the fifth religious fruit is the bell actually in south india the bell is mainly grown for the puja purpose and in north india it is grow for both puja purpose and also for the fruit purpose because in north india during the summer time there will be many stalls on the road they are selling the fruit of the bell so which is very very good especially in the summer because it affects uh, it gives cooling effect and also it have multiple of health advantages and the sixth health beneficial fruit plant is the star fruit or carambola it will fruit two to three times in a year and it will start fruiting immediately after one year of planting if it is a grafted one and the seventh one is the fig or anjir actually it is a small size plant you can easily grow even in a pot and it is zero maintenance and grow in a wide variety of soil but if you leave it without care and all in the ground it can become a medium sized tree and the eighth one is the jackfruit or kathal it have different fruiting season for example in north india it is mainly grown for fruit purpose and also for the vegetable purpose but in south india it is mainly grown for fruit purpose in south india they don't use it for the vegetable but they sometimes use it for uh, making of biryani and another interesting fruit from the jackfruit family is the breadfruit actually there is a confusion whether it is a fruit or vegetable because people use it for even for a vegetable and also for the fruit so it totally depends on the person who is using it and the ninth fruit plant is the papaya papita it is also well known fruit for the summer and you can easily grow even in a pot and the last one from the top 10 fruit plant is the from the citrus group 
in citrus mainly the lemon and pomelo they are easy to grow even in a pot or also even in a small spaces or back side of our house because these are the most commonly used fruit plants for summer in indian homes so in this short video i have covered as much as i can and remember all these fruit plants are only for indian climatic condition mainly the tropical and subtropical climatic condition so finally among all these top 10 fruit plants which one is your favorite and also please do comments what are other fruit plants which we can easily grow in the summer in the comment section please comment so see you again in my another top 10 video bye bye go green before green goes